There is a new mayor in East Haven, but he won't need much time getting right down to business. You see, he has been in that seat before. News 8's Aaron Cox met up with him this morning. She's on the scene in East Haven now with details. In most communities, when a new mayor arrives at town hall, there's a lot of changes they've got to make. But in this case, in East Haven, they're just pulling some stuff out of storage. News 8, the only camera as Joseph Maturo arrives to start his second run as East Haven's mayor. We're watching as he comes back to his old office. The desk, the same one he sat up for 10 years, pulled out of storage for this political comeback. How does it feel? Good thing you never left. Lots of hugs, handshakes, and the words welcome back being called out. Maturo, mayor for a decade before losing in an upset to Democrat April Capone. Four years later, he returned the favor. Voters returning him to town hall by just 34 votes. Mayor Maturo's office, the mayor. The mayor also bringing back many folks from his previous staff. I think I'm just going to uh, realize what's coming down the road, prepare for it better because I know it's coming. But we wondered, what's in all those boxes? Turns out it's what he took when he left. Most will be put back up in a sort of decoration deja vu, including a nameplate. His first order of business, meeting with department heads and the police union. When the good and the bad come for East Haven, they know they got this administration at the helm and we will make you proud. They put up a new sign at the parking spot, but get this, this is the same car he gave up four years ago. And Joe Maturo's not sure there's money in the budget to get him a new one. Reporting on the scene in East Haven, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.